Hi there! Today we're going to do something really fun with match geometry effect. It's really useful if you want to zoom into an image or add some cool transitions. For this tutorial, I will create an image gallery where you can tap on any image to preview it. I've added some random images here in the assets and I've named them image 1, 2 and 3 and 4. Let's add the images in a grid. Okay, so let's create a grid and I will add two images per row. I'll be using the same modifiers for each image. So let's create a function which creates the image for us. and this image is going to be resizable. Now let's add image one and two to this grid row. And I'll copy the row for image three and four. Oh, it looks like I forgot to return the image in the function. Let's add that. Cool, that looks good. Let's add some padding to the grid so we can see the edges. Now we want to be able to tap on any of these images to preview it. Let's start by adding a match geometry effect to the images. The ID needs to be unique. All of the images here have a unique name, so I will just add that for the ID. And we need to have a namespace here, so let's create a namespace private var called preview smoothly. Now when I tap on any of these images, I want to preview it. So let's add a tab gesture with some animation. We want to animate the zoom out to preview effect. So I will just add ease in, ease out, but you can use any other. If you want it to be a bit bouncy or springy, you can use interpolating spring animation. Let's add a state variable, which we can toggle when this view is in preview mode. I will call it preview and toggle it in here. If we are in preview mode, we just want to show the selected image on the whole view. Otherwise, we'll show the grid. So we need to know which image was selected. Let's save the selected image name in a variable. and make sure that we're updating it when the image is tapped. Now let's add a Z stack which will hold the image or the grid. That looks cool, it's zooming in and out. I can see a bit of problem here. Uh, let's slow down the animation to see properly. It looks like that the image that come after the selected image have a higher Z index, which means that they're appearing on top of the selected image when it's zoomed out. Okay, first let's make sure the preview covers the whole screen by ignoring the safe area for a preview image because I don't like the white space at the top and bottom. Now let's add a Z index, which is greater for the selected image. So over here, I'll give selected image a Z index of 1 
and the rest of them will have a z-index of zero. Right, let's test again. Perfect. The selected image is always on top now. And we're done. This effect can be used for any other transition and can be really fun to play around with. You can use the same transition to further zoom into an image by double tapping. If you'd like me to try a different transition effect or any other animation, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!